So in the interest of building muscle and strength and focusing on those qualities exclusively, which is best, doing dips off of standard dip bars or doing them off of a suspended device like rings or suspension straps. Now the primary decision factor here is stability. Of course, rings and straps are so much less stable. The first time I ever tried using them, I was shaking like a leaf and really struggling to get even one rep. And as I've always said, you're only as strong as you are stable. So typically when it comes to trying to push the muscles for time under tension, the more stability you have in your environment, the better off you're gonna be able to push yourself. And if you've experimented with both suspension dips and solid like bar dips, then you're gonna notice that on the bars, you're gonna get more reps, and you're gonna be able to lift more weight if you're doing weighted dips. So on the surface, it seems like an open and shut case, but don't jump the gun just yet, because while a lack of stability can be a big liability in your strength and muscular endurance training, it can also be one of the most valuable assets to take your muscles to the next level. Plus, strength training isn't really about weight and reps. If that were the case, then just strap on a ton of weight and do tiny itty bitty little reps and you're gonna greatly increase both of those characteristics. So it's not weight and reps, it's time and tension, both of which are very heavily correlated to the number of reps you do, which is another timing mechanism, and the amount of weight you lift, which is correlated to resistance and resistance is correlated to tension in the muscle but we want to be focused on time and tension and not just in the mindless, blind pursuit of endless weight and reps. So while you may be finding that your weight and your reps on suspended equipment goes down, your time and tension may actually be pretty good because you may be moving at a slower pace per rep. Plus, you're using a lot of that tension in your muscles for stability, especially that inward draw, that adduction, which can really make, especially your chest muscles, work a lot harder. And because bar dips are so much more stable, you may not be quite aware of how much instability you have, particularly in your lats and your back, that may be compromising the ability to push your muscles to a higher level. Plus, a lack of stability usually only holds you back if the ability to maintain that stability is the limiting factor in your workouts. So if you're doing your dips and you're finding that you're just losing your stability, then yes, you're not able to push your muscles nearly as hard as you possibly could. But if you're finding that you're still grinding out those last few reps and you're still stable as a rock, then it's not something you need to worry about. So like a lot of things when it comes to diet and exercise, what's best for you is probably just gonna boil down to personal preference. What do you prefer to use? What do you enjoy using? Do you find that you can use rings or bars a little bit more proficiently? Or do you just feel better on one versus the other? And of course you gotta consider, well, I've got rings, but I don't have bars, so you don't have much option there, or vice versa. And if your dip program's been feeling a little stale, you're probably going to get the needle moving again by changing from one to the other in either direction. Check out these micro workouts here that use dips either on bars or straps to spice up an otherwise bland dip routine. And let me know if you have comments and questions down below. Thank you very much for watching. Be fit and live free.